Samsung just released the new April 2021 update. Yes, it has those new features, you know, the camera, the stuff. And what's so new about it? I've had the April update since forever. What do you mean? It, they just released it whole... Gimme. Huh? Well, if you're here, you're that guy who doesn't get the updates. So, hi there, bros. My name is Brett Pro, and today I'm gonna show you how to install the latest update when it is available, but your phone doesn't find it. This may happen for a couple of reasons, but the main one is when you use, a, let's say, a Snapdragon device from USA in uh, Europe, let's say. It won't connect to the update server or many other unknown reasons. What we're gonna do today is install and use Samsung Smart Switch for smart switch for PC. It's developed from Samsung, so you're doing this in an official way, of course. And uh, its main functions are updating your phone, as I said, backing up your data in your PC. And uh, the third one is uh, fixing your device when it's stuck in a boot loop or it's bricked, when your device is broken. There's also another method. You can do it manually by yourself via Odin. I have put the link somewhere up in the cards. What are you going to need for this is your phone's cable. This is not my phone's cable, but I highly suggest you use your original cable from the box. And a PC or laptop. They have to be plugged in. Also, why I said that you have to use an original cable is because if something happens during the update process, your phone's firmware will be corrupted and that's not good. So you need to be careful about that. Hey, even if your phone gets corrupted, you can fix it with smart switch. That's smart. Well, let's get into it. Also, I apologize. I'm sorry, but my dumb ass decided to record at the time I was most tired. So my voice may sound a bit uh, sleepy. I'm sorry about that. The steps are what's important and follow them exactly as in the video. Let's get into it. First of all, we need to download Samsung smart switch. Well, you're in luck, Mac users, you have a Mac App Store link to, so this method will be the same for Mac and Windows as well. So, in my case, I'm gonna download for Windows. Save it whenever you want. I forgot to mention, the link of this website is in the description, of course. Now that it's downloaded, launch the setup. I sell my soul to Samsung, yes, and I also sell my soul to Samsung next. And it's finished. Now create shortcut on desktop and don't run it yet. Finish. Now before launching it, I need you to connect your phone to your PC. After it's connected, unlock your phone and then tap on allow. Now you're gonna open a smart switch. Launch smart switch. Well, in this case, it's I just installed it, but it's still asking me to update it, so update it. Two hours later. OK, it says update completed. Just click on OK. Don't forget to unlock your device. It depends on you. Some people have it installed, some people don't. I don't have it installed in my case. You just click on download smart switch and it will start downloading and installing it on your phone. It's just some kind of companion app and it's useful for when you're changing your phone because it's also used to move your data to another phone. You tap on yes. And it's, as you can see, it's installing it. All right, when this page shows up on your phone and on your PC, as you can see, it's connected and it's showing the name of my phone. Click on this arrow here and it will show you the information of your device and if there is an update available. And as you can see here, I'm lucky there is an update available for my phone. Just click on it and it will give you the information of the update. Well, this is a 100 megabyte update actually, but here it shows us a 6.5 gigabyte update. Well, that's normal because it will install the whole system and then flash it to your phone. So, continue. All confirmed. Again, all confirmed. And now it's downloading. 
follow the instruction given there. It says do not disconnect your phone. Do not disconnect your phone. If you disconnect your phone, well, not even I can help you with whatever will happen to your phone. Feeling rebellious? No, still, do not co disconnect it from your phone. Three hours later. Well, this is the most important step. This is when the update actually starts in installing. So do not disconnect your phone or PC. You don't need to do anything. Just don't touch anything. And uh, after it is turned off, it will turn on with a blue screen right now. And don't get scared. It's just the downloading screen. Let's get back into the video. Okay, after one eternity later, and after my tables color has changed the download finally finished this will show up in your phone don't get scared it's normal now you may freely close the smart switch and remove the cable and wait for the update to finish now that the finishing update notification is gone the update process is complete or that's what you thought you need to do this extra step for the system to be stable after the update now after the notification is gone turn off your phone now that the phone is off we need to go to recovery mode the quickest method to go to recovery mode is by connecting your phone to a PC or even the AKG earphones, it doesn't matter. The PC has to be on, doesn't matter what it's doing. And then hold at the same time the volume up and the power button and the Bixby button if you have one at the same time. Now, first of all, I'm gonna, I'm connecting in this case, of course, with the PC. Wait for this animation to finish. Okay, finally. Now, hold the buttons. When the logo shows, release them. Okay, now that we are at recovery mode, let me zoom. You can navigate using the volume buttons, and I need you to go to wipe cage partition. There, push the power button to select, go to yes and push push the power button well not only do you have the latest system update but I also showed you the secret trick of clearing the cache everybody will tell you that it's not special <laughs> that's all for camera 2 I'm sad to say I have to leave you goodbye Congratulations, you have the latest update with the latest features and probably slow downs. Let's put our conspiracy hats on. Yes, they probably slow down our old phones, so the new phones will be sold more. I'm just kidding. Probably doesn't happen. Or does it? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it, you did, smash that like button. Take it and say, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I will try my best to answer all of them. And if you want more videos, I will even explain the other smart switch uh, functions. Subscribe and become a pro. Bye.